हेलो गाइज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ अ न्यू सीरीज दैट इज एजुअर सर्विस बस नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वील डिस्कस वॉट एजुअर सर्विस बस इज वील डिस्कस एन एग्जाम्पल वेयर वी कैन यूज एजुअर सर्विस बस एंड देन वील डिस्कस द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ यूजिंग एजुअर सर्विस बस सो एजुअर सर्विस बस इज अ मैसेज ब्रोकर and it's reliable and it supports a synchronous communication now what is meant by message broker so we'll try to understand that with an example say we have an application where user can register himself and after registering user gets an email say a welcome email okay so in that case we may have two services so service 1 we may have this user registration service and then we may have service 2 that is email service or its email sender service so when user has registered himself within the system so first thing of course the user's detail will be saved in the backend so somewhere will save detail in backend and after that this service may send a message to azure service bus so here we may have azure service bus and that message will contain all the details which will which are required to send an email okay so this message now will be picked up by this email service so again this service sends a message which contain all the details for that email and that message which we send to azure service bus it will be picked up by this email service and then email service will form email and send that email so that way we can use azure service bus okay now let's i mean this was really a very simple example as we move uh, as we move ahead in our upcoming videos we'll discuss more complex examples as well okay and then let's discuss the advantages so first thing of course with this we have achieved decoupling right so we have achieved decoupling among the services and second example is load balancing and let's try to understand this say within a very short time this user registration service gets a lot of user request so i mean huge number of users have requested or registered themselves within this service in a very short time so uh, of course the load on this user registration service will be high and that probably we cannot avoid but after that after that when this service sends the messages to azure service bus once the once these messages are there here after that this email service will pick up messages at its own pace so though the speed at which these messages are sent it's high that means with in short time huge number of messages are sent to this azure service bus bus but this is an email service will still work at its own pace so that way uh, we have made sure that this email service does not have performance issues it does not go down or it it does not get throttled okay so these were the two advantages so that's it guys thanks thanks for listening